Well, good day. Welcome back. This is the Polaroid SX70. I've had this camera for decades, and recently I had it converted to use the new Polaroid Type 600 film. Along with this camera, I've had a number of the old flash bars, the old-fashioned flash bulbs in a bar arrangement, and they plug into the uh, slot on the top of the camera. And so the issue has always been, can you get an electronic flash for the SX-70? Because they didn't have a PC connector originally, an external flash connector. Well, it turns out that Mint Camera has now an electronic flash unit, and I'm going to unwrap it here and try it out. This is actually the Flash Bar 2. Here we go. Okay, there we are, Mint Flash Bar 2 for Polaroid SX-70 cameras. All right, here we go. And okay, let's just look at this one at a time. Don't get too excited. Okay, here is the flash unit itself. There is a uh, QR code sticker, probably has the instructions on the website. And there is the connector that connects to the slot of the SX-70 camera. There is an external uh, flash connector, it looks like. Then you have the switch here. Full power, half power maybe? I'll have to read the instructions which would be the QR code website, I believe. Okay, besides that, we have a couple filters for coloring the flash. We have this reddish amber and then a yellowish green filter, right? So here is the instructions, basically off my phone here. Uh, the basic settings that you would use on your camera for different lighting conditions. Okay, pretty straightforward. So in the old days, my favorite battery used to be Duracells because uh, Duracells used to have lead in the formulation that kept them from leaking. But I recently saw a test where apparently the best batteries for resisting leakage were actually the Energizers, which one of those brand loyalty things, but I've always liked Duracells better. Negative and positive. Okay. That's off. Half power, full power. Oh, yes. Okay, 15 seconds. Oh, they are about 15 seconds to recycle. And that's on full power mode. Let's go to half power, pop it, and now we will time it and see how long it takes to go back to the green. Okay, that was about five seconds on half power. Not bad. So I think I'm going to hook this up to the SX70. I have some film still in there. I have, it's on six. So that means I have four shots left because it's an eight, cart eight exposure cartridge instead of a ten that the camera was built for originally. So when you get down to two, you're empty. So six to two is four. Do the math. Okay, here is my typewriter in slightly dark room conditions here. I have the window shuttered. So uh, I need a flash to take a picture of this. The flash pops into the socket right there. The light is green. Darkness control is in the middle. Focus on the, the typewriter. All right. And when you collapse the camera down, that's what it looks like with it attached. I'm going to turn it off right now. Save the batteries. Wait for this print to come out. Well, it's been just over half an hour. I had breakfast. Let the print sit. You know, these Polaroids take a half an hour to fully develop. Ten minutes out of the light. Not bad. So this is the half power mode and the exposure on the camera was set to the default medium position. It looks like you could manipulate the exposure control to get more or less ambient exposure out of it. I've taken a number of prints under ambient lighting conditions in dim light and a lot of those turn out kind of yellowish because of the color temperature of the indoor light bulbs. But because flash is daylight balanced, the blue typewriter ends up being actually blue colored. Isn't that cool? Okay, so this is the uh, initial picture I took with half power flash and then I went and took another one same half power flash setting but a little bit lower down and it was considerably darker and the next one was about the same so I went ahead and did full power flash. Full power flash looks pretty well lit. You wouldn't want it any brighter but I think it's very well lit for an indoor scene that's almost all flashlight and no ambient lighting. So this gets me thinking that 
you know, I had this camera converted so that it would expose normally with Type 600 film. So actually the metering on the camera is set for a faster ISO film, so it's not going to be as bright. So the instructions on the Mint Flash to use half power when you're using 600 film is when you haven't converted the camera, when it's a default SX70. Because it also showed that if you're using Type 600 film in daylight to use an ND filter, well, I don't need to do that because mine's being converted. Anyways, all that to say, I have to use full power flash because its sensitivity has been lowered to use Type 600 film. Anyway, not a bad picture, and that means I know now basically how to expose this film going forward. Looking forward to shooting more of this stuff. Okay, so we also have these colored filters to attach to the flash. Okay, so here's the filter. They attach magnetically, yes. As Jesse in Breaking Bad said, magnets... Okay, so I have this crazy idea. So I'm going to try to type a little bit of data in one corner of the back of it. One half flash power. Cool. Okay, well here's the leather carrying case the camera came in originally. So I have the camera on the left side. I have the original instruction manual to the SX-70. I have a pack of new film and the flash unit is right there. And in this baggie down here are the two flash filters magnetically attached to each other. So it looks like it's a pretty good kit to throw over my shoulder and take with me and be able to take instant photos whenever I want. Well, I'm looking forward to using this mint flash bar on the SX-70 now so I can get indoor pictures. I wish you guys the very best. I hope you find avenues of creativity in your life. And as always, have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye for now.